okay guys so let's discuss what are the different topologies in mysql replication so previously we discussed uh, one of the replication topology which is master with the slave so we have one master and one slave and i have described how these things are working so and these are how the things are working uh, so this is the normal one uh, which we have master and with one slave and the next one uh, we can also have is that uh, we have a single master uh, okay and then we have multiple read replicas so we can have master with the multiple slaves or we can say uh, source and one source and with the uh, uh, multiple replicas and the next one we have is that we can have a chain replication so we have an intermediate master uh, you can see here so this is our intermediate master uh, sorry and we have a master then which is sending the replication sending the binary logs uh, to the uh, slave relay log one of the master uh, so one of the slave uh, which we call him is that this is our intermediate master uh, why we call it that because this uh, slave is a master for another three replicas so that's why we call it an intermediate master so this is called a chain replication uh, there are certain parameters uh, on the intermediate master which should be enabled uh, which is we say that log slave update because this slave should also be able to write all the changes into its binary logs because this binary log will be uh, applied on the replicas of the slave so, um, so that's how uh, this uh, chain replication works we will be doing an uh, exercise on this one then uh, you will uh, come to know that how things are working and what are the variables we need to uh, know uh, so that's what so we will leave it for the future uh, tutorials and we will see that how it's working uh, and yes <coughs> then we have master master replication uh, which is uh, like we can say that the masters okay so this we can say that server a is the slave of server b and the server b is the slave of server a so actually they both of them are slaves of each other that's how we call it the master with uh like master master replication uh how we achieve this uh so just i said that uh, these both of them are a slave of each other so you have to like execute uh, configure uh, both of them uh, uh both of them to be the uh, slaves of each other so actually uh there are certain problems with this topology because it's not that much reliable and it's not recommended to use and uh, any uh, technology um, any like uh, uh, even the oracle does not like uh, they don't recommend and, and even they might not support this uh, topology uh, we have a better option than this like we have a, a group replication then we have clusters uh, nodb uh, cluster or we have pxc percona xdb cluster or we have gorilla cluster from mariadb uh, so we can use the better option why do we not uh, want to use this uh, because uh, and furthermore if you want to use it uh, you have to set the auto increment offset on each server to avoid the primary key collision because if you are writing to both of them then you can have uh, if you have the same incre auto increment settings on both of the servers then what will happen is that eventually you will end up having uh, some uh, duplicate uh, inc uh, duplicate keys and th that can be a very big problem for you because obviously uh, when it is like replicated from one side to another side and if that uh, primary key is also available on the server a uh, okay so this is going to be a problem it will fail uh, so that is why it's uh, you have to have different auto increment offset on both of the servers so like uh, you can say that uh, server a is auto incremented by uh, even numbers and the server b is auto incremented by odd numbers so uh, they don't collide uh, that's how we need it so obviously there is no conflict resolution okay so let's say uh, server a is updating a record uh, id equal to 5 and at the same time the server b is also uh, going to update a record uh, with id equal to 5 then obviously there is no conflict resolution because they are working both 
uh, separately and they can uh, update the the record both at the same time and you can have a uh, different data on both the side and which is not the good idea to have uh, so yes obviously there are a lot of problems and this uh, uh, and this this uh, master master topology sh i think it is should be like it uh, works best uh, when you want to avoid the failover and fail big so and like so that's how this is where you want to use it so if it's it, it is only safe if you're writing on only one of the server okay you should not be writing to both of them so that's how where you can work it uh, it's only useful that you don't want to uh, do the failover manually but uh, you already know that my uh, second server is already a master so it's not in read only uh, mode so that's where you can use it but i still won't recommend this and but still i'm going to teach you guys this one that how you can enable it but uh, obviously that's not recommended from my side <laughs> to use this topology um, yes you can use it if you are going to only write on one of the server so like if you want to uh, only write on the left side of the master then it's okay you can write it but i uh, will never recommend writing on the both one okay so next we have is uh, we want to have a uh, one of the master okay so we have like these guys are two and uh, like we have a semi synchronous replication where uh, to the backup backup server where we don't want to miss any uh, data okay because this is going to be a semi-synchronous then we uh, what happened is that the master will confirm that the backup master this one has written the statement which i wrote to my binary log and then it will make it confirm that the, my backup master is my true replica so you can take the backup from the backup master and so it's what it does that it avoid the overhead of taking the backup from the master to the backup master so uh that's how it is useful when you want your uh one of the backup master okay and then you can have also have the slave uh, on the other side which is useful for the read so what we are doing here is that we are taking the uh, burden of taking the backup on the master to the backup master server and then we are also taking the read or the reporting from the master to uh, the read replicas so our master is what our master is doing is it's only uh, uh, writing or it's only doing a read for updates so that's our uh, where we uh, make our uh, replication topology uh, very effective at, as uh, like as for the performance so that's how this is the topology where you can use and it works very well okay um, next topology we have is that we have multiple masters and then we have one slave so like from multiple sources we are getting the data and we are storing it inside one of the slave so that is also possible if you want to use uh, okay so in the next chapter we are going to use how we can set up the replication so we are going to have um, the lowest one topology which is the master and the slave and we are going to do that so thank you so much guys for watching this one and stick to the next one.